Using ProPrompter Desktop with your iPad, iPad Mini, iPad Air starts off with using ProPrompter Studio. Now this is the most extensive ProPrompter or Teleprompter app out on the market. I mean it has all the step-by-step -step instructions, all the troubleshooting. We put a lot of work into that so always refer to that. And in the settings I'm going to turn on Enable Video Recording and because of the help menu I found out that the margin size needs to be set at 20 percent. So now I just go back out to my script and you can see here's the recording screen right here. I'm already prompting but I can stop that by just hitting the pause button but there I am right on camera I can move this around and get it out of the way and then I can resume I can speed it up and slow it down of course I can do this with a second device as well but you see it's the margins are formatted for the ProPrompter desktop I'm going to show you how that is so I just position this right over now I'm using this little lever in the back it just slides right on there that's where it contacts onto the edge of your iPad and I'm just centering it up with the camera on the iPad and then I'm going to adjust these mirrors and put on the hood So with iPad Mini, I actually have two adjustments. I need to adjust the size of the ProPrompter desktop to fit that, and I also need to adjust the app, the margins on there. So let's first adjust the ProPrompter desktop, and that's these two knobs right here. And you can see that that allows me to slide this down, which shortens up the length. And now I can just slide it directly over the iPad mini and it fits perfectly. So on the normal size iPad I adjusted the margin settings to 20 percent but here in the iPad mini as you can see from the help menu it says none so I don't have to change any of the margin size on this for it to fit within the size of the ProPrompter desktop. I've attached the black Dubatine hood to block off light from behind that ambient light and I've adjusted this at a 45 and now all I have to do is bring the top mirror down for my eyeline and I'm looking directly in the camera lens while prompting and recording from the front facing camera on my iPad mini. Now I would tap the red button down here to start the recording and that's recording from this front facing camera but when I have the ProPrompter desktop in place I'm not going to be able to reach those controls unless I'm using another iOS device as my remote control. So I'll show you how to use your own remote one-to-one. -one. Now I can do the same thing with my iPhone or another iOS device as remote control. I can stop, speed it up, slow it down. I can cue forward and backward every place I have an asterisk with these arrows. So we've written into ProPrompter Studio that it will recognize the Apple iPhone earbuds as remote control. So I can resume, pause, speed it up, slow it down, and then I can cue forward and backward every place that I have an asterisk in my script. So my ProPrompter desktop attached to my iPad on a little iPad stand, any stand will do as long as it gets in, in the right position for you. You adjust this for your eye line and just use your iPhone earbuds as your remote control. 